This episode of United by Trucks is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club, where you can get all your grooming needs for this holiday season. All right guys, so today we're in a really special place filming a really special truck. We're at Year One Muscle Cars in Brazelton, Georgia, and we're taking a look at Dave Fricky's 68 Chevrolet C10, bagged on some 20 inch billet specialties, really cool interior, and just a flat out built to drive awesome truck. So we're gonna take you in depth on this thing. We hope you enjoy the ride, and real quick, big thanks to Year One for letting us come inside and film this truck. It's just really, really cool. So big thanks to Pat and their team at Year One. You ready to jump in on this truck? Let's do it. I'll be pointing at you then. <laughs> this guy over here. Yeah. I'm Dave Fricky, 1968 C10. Thanks to Year One for having this car show today. As we told you in the intro, we're here with Dave Fricky's awesome, awesome 68 C10, 503 light green. Just really a perfect recipe. And we're gonna really dissect this truck today. We got Dave here to tell us a little bit about this truck. So I think we're just gonna jump right in, Dave. So cool. let's start right here at the wheel and tire package. Can you tell us a little bit about the wheel and tire setup you got here? Yeah, so they're built specialties, uh, speedways, just the one piece yep. cast wheel. Uh, and then I've got the Nitto uh, tires on it. You know, this nice soft compound, so it rides good down the highway. You know what sizes they are front and back? Uh, front is a 245 35. Yeah. And then the rear is a 275 40. Awesome. What yep. size are the wheels? 20 by eight and a half, 20 by 10s. Heck yeah. Well, I think that really sets the, uh, sets the truck off, particularly with all the chrome uh, and the trim, and then the mirrors, mirror heads, you know, grill bumper. I think that, that package is really, really sweet. Moving our way sort of up the body. Uh, let's okay. talk a little bit about the suspension, because I think this is probably one of the areas that you're really, really proud of. I mean, you put right. a lot of work and a lot of attention in the suspension, even though we can't really see what's up under there, but we can tell it's dialed in. So give right. us a little bit of an idea uh, as to what you've done in the front and let's move to the back. What we did was we put a Ride Tech suspension underneath it. Uh, it's a stage two kit, so it's, it's bagged, yeah. which is you know, the way I like it because it rides really nice like a Cadillac going yeah, down the road. Uh, <laughs> but it does have sway bars on it from Ride Tech and uh, the rear sway bar and just bagged in the back too. Sweet. But then I upped it to go with two tanks and I've got two, you know, two different compressors and stuff like that, and release valves so I can bleed out all the water out of the lines and stuff. So, Very cool. I mean, stock suspension, but everything just bolted right to it. Sweet, so you got bags yeah. up front, sway bar. In the rear though, I think you've upped the trailing arms a little bit and went with something a little bit different there, right? I did, yeah, they're the reaction uh, suspension uh, trailing arms underneath it. Yeah, so those are tubular and a really cool, cool. piece that's yeah. being made by Travis out at AZ Pro Performance. Correct. But man, the suspension is just is super dialed in. Tell us a little bit about how it rides. I mean, it rides just like a brand new car. Yeah. I mean, it really does ride like a Cadillac. When you put a lot so, of miles on this truck too, right? Yeah, it's got about 25,000 miles on the truck itself. Wow. Uh, but with the suspension and everything, after I redid it, it's got about 9,000 miles. Very, very so, cool. Yeah. Well, so you've got the wheel and tire package. You've got the suspension dialed in. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on with the paint and body. So this is a 68 truck, but if you know anything about this, the 67, 72 C10s and 67, they didn't have marker lights. Correct. So you got those shaved, so it kind of it kind of looks like a big back window 67. Right. A lot of people say that. So it really, is a, a true 68. And the one cool thing about this truck, it was made in Dorville, Georgia, sold in Fairmont, Georgia, and then I bought it out of Fairmont, Georgia seven years ago. Okay guys, no secret that I have a beard. Well, it takes a little bit of upkeep to keep my beard looking like, well, my wife wants it to look. So Dollar Shave Club is a big part of what I do to keep my beard looking good. So I've got 
probably seven places on my face, right in here, right on the side here, down by this, and of course across the bottom, where I have to keep my beard trimmed up, shaved, looking nice. Well, Dollar Shave Club, big part of that, they sent their shave starter set for us to take a look at and for me to show you how I keep my beard looking trim. So let's take a look at what's in the shave starter set. All right guys, so we've got the shave starter set from Dollar Shave Club. And this is what you get right here in this box when you open it up. It has some, some pretty nice little wrapping, but the very first thing you see is this nice weighty shave handle. This thing is really nice. has a great grip and plenty of weight. Nicely constructed. Also comes with their six blade razor cartridges. You can see those there. They've got six blades go right onto your shave handle. And finally, in the shave starter set, you got the shave butter. This stuff goes on clear so that you can see where the hairs are and it prevents ingrown hairs in your face. So you got the shave butter, you got your nice weighty handle for shaving, and you got your six blade cartridges for your razor. So if you're struggling to find that perfect holiday gift for your significant other, dad, brother, whomever it may be, check out dollarshaveclub.com slash United by Trucks to get your $5 shave starter set. So definitely head over to dollarshaveclub.com backslash United by Trucks. And thanks again to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. Uh, what was it like when you bought it? Uh, yeah, any cab corners, rockers, you know, uh, that's pretty much it on the cab, but the bed was totally rotted out. Uh, it had uh, horse manure in it and yeah. just had pulled it out of the barn. You know, yeah. you could see so, right through the tailgate. It was a cool looking. I drove it like that for like two years. Yeah, all right. So, I actually did know but, that. Yeah, I did. Cool. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people who watch this channel can relate to that. I mean, yeah. You drive a project, even when you necessarily don't have it the way you want it, you drive it until you can get it where you want it. It looks like you've really got this truck to a really, really good place. So tell me a little bit about the paint and body. So the, the cab, the hood, the doors, they're all original. Okay. Uh, the fenders are 67 fenders, new, yep. uh, from AMD. The whole bed is new uh, from AMD. It's got the big 15 inch tubs in it. So then I could run a bigger tire on the rear and stuff like that and not have to worry about rubbing and things like that. Where did you source the tubs for the rear? AMD. AMD? Very yeah. Cool. The wood kit in the bed is uh, from LMC. Uh, but the stainless steel strips in there are from Marque, uh with all the bolts and everything. The side moldings on the truck are from Marque too. And if you notice, I painted with Nomi Black. I painted it with a gloss green. Yeah. So that took me three days just to tape that off. <laughs> so, well, I shouldn't say myself. Nick took him three days yeah, to, yeah. to tape them off. Who did the paint work? Uh, Nick Henderson did. Nick Henderson did, and yep. you did a lot of the body work? I did, yeah, yeah. We put everything together and made sure it was all straight, and if there's a little dent or whatever, then we just blocked it, filled Very it in cool. just a little bit. Now, obviously, Dave, I've known you for a while, and I've looked at this truck a time or two. I looked at it pretty closely, and then I get in here and I start filming it, and I just keep finding stuff that is just really, really unique. Right. Um, and one of those things is that you actually raise the bed floor a little bit. So not only do you have wider tubs, you raise the bed floor. So tell us a little bit about your motivation yes. for doing that. So what we did was we raised the bed floor three inches, and uh, we just kept it so when you looked into the bed, you'd be right on the body line inside the bed. So you wouldn't notice it was really raised yeah. until you open the tailgate. And then you see, you just know, a th <laughs> yeah, just a three inch block, you know, a square tubing block that we welded in and seam sealed and everything. Very, very so, cool. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk about the drivetrain next. But before we move forward to that, what is your fuel system like in this truck? So it's a boy tank. They're out of uh, Ocala, Florida. Yeah, big shout out to Dave. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Dave's an awesome so, paint everything up through the frame rails. And yeah. So. so you've got that void welding tank behind the axle. Located Correct. In the yeah, it's in the bed, yeah. so you can fill it up through the bed and everything. Very, so. very cool. Nobody makes a tank like void welding. That's correct. It's yeah. Proofing your truck right no, it, today. It's been great. Yeah, <laughs> had it for like three years in there, so it's yeah. been perfect. So it's a 383 stroker, 430 horse. Yeah. Uh, it's got a 700R transmission behind it. Uh, it's got 308 posi gears in it. Very cool. Uh, Very cool. So it gets down the highway nice, and it does a good burnout. Yeah, you so know when it needs a, to be. So. So you're running an overdrive transmission with 308 gears. Yeah. So I, I cruise up the interstate about 85 at 2300 RPMs. Yeah. Hardly yeah. any RPMs. Yes. Wow, that's cool. Very, yeah. very cool. 
Yeah. So did your friend John build the transmission? He did. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he's a freak when it comes to transmission. Yeah. He's built about 16 of them for me. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. That's cool. The engine, is it a blueprint motor? It is blueprint. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's crate motor, basically, you know, three-year warranty, 50,000 miles. Man, you so, cannot beat that. Yeah, you can't beat it. Now, not only do you have a blueprint 383 stroker, but you also went even, I would say, another non-traditional route, and it's not carved. So what did you do about the fuel delivery? So, yeah, I did a uh, Fitech fuel injection system. Yeah. Uh, it's the full, from the tank all the way up to the front. So they're, it's their pump and filter and everything on it. Heck, yeah. So I just ran a return line back to the gas tank. And, and no you know, issues. No issues. I've had it for probably two and a half years on no the truck issues. and you know about 16,000 miles wow well that's awesome I mean, yeah that's never, big, never had an issue yeah that's a big big notch uh, a big notch yep. in, the, in the belt for Fitech because that's a I mean that's that's no regular small block you know no a, yeah that's a 383 stroker so yep that's really really cool obviously this is a trend throughout this video and with this truck but it's you can tell this is a, a perfectly put together package and you know putting the sort of the icing on the cake Let's talk a little bit about the interior. You've done some really cool things, and I, I'll point out that one of my favorite things about the truck is that you went with black interior. You went with a black bed. You've done some really cool things that, yeah, I mean, black looks great, but maybe that's not a traditional way of thinking when you're looking at light green at 503 light green. You might think of saddle or something like that, but you went all black, and I think that's really cool. Yeah, originally the truck came with green interior. Yeah, that dark green interior in it. So that was nice, but I wanted to do something different, more modern looking. So I did go with TMI interior. I uh, went with the buckets, and then I put the buddy bucket in the middle, uh, which is a great kit because it's it bolts right in. It literally, so, you order it online, you can talk to them however you want to do it. I mean, I went out there and built it with them, and then cool. shipped to my house. You know, nine weeks later, and took me 30 minutes to bolt it in. Wow. Everything inside is from TMI, except for the dash pad. You got bucket seats with a buddy bucket. What else do you have that's TMI in the interior? So the door panels yeah. came from TMI. All right, so you've got TMI seats, you've got TMI door panels, you got a really slick black stock looking dash pad, you got the buddy bucket with the seats. What are some of the other unique details that are going on as it relates to the interior? So I, I put Daytona carpet in it, which is a really smooth carpet. You know, instead of having something that had, you know, the natural, you know, the stock look, mm -hmm. I went with more of a, you know, 1955 style yeah. carpet. And then I did a Budnick steering wheel. I've got a CPP steering column. And then my gauges are classic instruments that are custom made. Uh, they're Perfect. called the Hot Rod Series, but I only went with the three gauges. So you still have the tack in the middle, speedo, and then all fours in a cluster. Oh, cool. Very so cool. instead of having the four, you know, down at the bottom, yeah. I just like that cleaner look. Yeah, John over at Classic Instruments, he's, he seems to have a good thing going on. Yeah, he does, he I, does. I, really I like talk to him stuff. quite a bit. Not only do you have it all dialed in with the TMI stuff, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a really a complete package, but you've even taken it to another level, and you've got a killer audio system. So tell me a little bit about what you've done. In, in this yeah, show. so Digital Audio did it for me over in Marietta. Yeah. Uh, so I got a Pioneer Head unit, Memphis speakers. The Memphis speakers were up in the dash too. Uh, so I did the two little four inch up front there and then did the two six and a halves down in the kick panel. Yeah. And then we put a sub in the back, built a nice box around that. And then I even wrapped that all in vinyl and stuff to match the interior. Very cool. And then we did a little contour around the edges. So it just all flows nice. Nice. What yeah. a, you know what size the sub is? It's 10 inch sub. 10 inch, yeah, yeah. it's perfect. It sits, yeah. you know, it just fits right there. Yeah, um, you can see it thumping when you yeah, go down the road. Yeah, with the buddy, 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 buddy <laughs> Yeah, so exactly. That's a, that's a really, really cool touch. Yeah. Tell me about your door latches, because they're awesome. <laughs> so they are the ultimate easy latch. Yeah. Uh, which is, I mean, it's like two fingers you can shut the truck. I mean, yeah. it's it's unbelievable how they work. Yeah, so truck so. manufacturing has really dialed in those ultimate easy latches. And yeah. when we were, uh, we were actually shooting this truck before this interview, and I shut the door, and, and you made a comment about the latches, and I was like, yeah, the one thing that I notice is when you shut that door, confidence. You are confident that door is not coming back open unless you want it to open. Right. That, that's even more a critical part than, oh, they shut easy or they shut well or something like that, is that you get the confidence that that door is not gonna fly open with your wife sitting next to you or your kid when you're turning, you know, turning on to 85 out here. Correct. So I yeah. think that's just a really, a really cool thing that trick is, it doesn't really get talked about a lot, but um, I, I just think that's a really cool yeah, thing. Yeah, and the material they use is great. I mean, yeah. it's billet and, you know, all nice fittings and, you know, it's just clean work. Yeah. You know, you can weld it in or you can bolt it in. Yeah. 
One other thing that we were just talking about here in the room before we, before we started this interview is you opted to not do the chrome trim around the front windshield and around the rear window. Right. So uh, what was the motivation for doing that? Well, it just, I think it just blends in so much nicer. I mean, I did put the trim back in it, and then within a week, I took it back out, and I just said, you know what, it just took away from the paint job. Yeah. So, went back to all black, and it does tie in nice with the bed and the interior. It does. So, I, I think, particularly yeah. as, you, as you look through the front windshield and you see that TMI bucket sitting there, you got <laughs> this nice black border that's just really, really clean around the windshield. Um, so I think that was not that my opinion matters in that respect, but I think that was a no. Good it definitely move. does. I mean, you you know you've got this really unique combination when it comes to paint and chrome, but that chrome can be overdone, mm -hmm. and I think that was that was probably a really great way to uh, to tone it down and make it you know, still fit with the flat and matte. Well, I think you've done a lot yeah. of really cool things on this truck that work, and I, I know it. you've spent a lot of time. You've actually torn this truck down twice what? since I've known you. Yeah, the truck's so, been torn, torn down twice. So torn down twice, yeah. once since I've known you and, you know. I, in eight years. Yeah, that so, is, that's really yeah. impressive. One of the more recent things you've done, though, is the spoiler down on the front, down on the bottom of the bumper there. So what? Yeah, that's made by TMI. Okay. Uh, it's their new spoiler they're doing for the Blazer and the C10. And uh, just wanted to try something different, yeah. you know. I think I've seen two of them done. Yeah. And that's why I went with it. Well, that was so. done well. It's not, if I saw it in a catalog, it's not something I'd necessarily be interested in, but seeing right. it on your truck, it actually fits. Yeah, and really, I, really I painted nice. it silver to match the grill inserts, but then just to kind of blend it into the bumper so it wouldn't be like. Yeah, if it were chrome or something like if that. If it was chrome or yeah. green or something like that, it would, I think it would be way out there. Yeah, I think you're So right. I think with the silver, the way we did it, it just kind of blends right in. Very so. cool. Well, Dave, I really appreciate you taking the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you doing truck. it. Going, uh, going over it and really dialing in on some of those details that you know we don't get the people don't get to look at every day. Right. Um, I think it's just a really cool truck, and I appreciate your time, man. No, man, I appreciate. It. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. guys thank you so much for tuning in to this special segment from year one in Brazelton Georgia big thanks to Dave Freaky for bringing his truck in letting us film it here and man what a cool truck this thing is seriously built to drive I mean Dave drives this thing all over the southeast attending all sorts of great shows and he's really put together an awesome package so we really appreciate him for bringing the truck in and obviously pat over at year one so big thanks to those guys if you hadn't subscribed to the channel please consider doing so definitely smash that thumbs up button down below the screen and leave a comment let us know what your favorite part about dave's truck is we'll catch you next time right here on united by trucks Cue the music